Good day everyone. Today I will going to tackle the essay entitled What are Filipinos like by Leon Maguerrero? But first I would like to introduce you who is Leon Maguerrero. He was one of the foremost nationalists of this era, a partner in the law practice of Senator Claro Embrecto. He became Undersecretary of Foreign Affairs during the Magsaysay administration. On retirement, he was the country's most senior diplomatic having been Ambassador in London, Madrid, New Delhi, Mexico City, and Belgrade. On 19 June 1982, he received the Gawad Babini, the highest award in the Philippine Foreign Service. He held the Rock of Night, Grand Cross of the Knights of Rizal. Among his many works are internationally acclaimed translation of Rizal's No Limitam Kiri and El Filibusterismo. So, what are Filipinos like? What do foreigners say about Filipinos? Farmers say that Filipinos are friendly, good-natured, loyal, idealistic, sentimental, socially gracious, more intelligent than Malays, religious but not so mystical as the Indians, imitative but less so than the Japanese. And also, farmers said that Filipinos are unwilling to accept responsibility. Colonialism also suggests that the reason for a certain unwillingness to accept responsibility. For too long in our history, it was not accompanied by any real authority. Spaniard give us responsibility which is we don't want to do, like the forced labor, to work without salary, to pay high taxes without return. And also, they said Filipinos are lacking in self-reliance, a relatively simple explanation for our notorious lack of self-reliance, which seems to be the main burden of complement against us these days. For more than four centuries of colonial rule, we were not allowed to rely ourselves. All they want us is to rely on them. We are not allowed to do anything without their permission. And also they said that Filipinos are less hardworking than the Chinese. And in general, the most adaptable of all races in the Orient. Yes, that is true because wherever country we are, we can easily adapt their culture and their lifestyle. Spaniards thought Filipinos were very like the Spanish. An American thought Filipinos were not American enough. They also cannot understand why grown-up sons and daughters keep on living with their parents after they have married, simply because we valued family. A Frenchman a Frenchman remarked the Filipinos were the only people in Asia with a sense of humor. This is the nicest compliment of all. A Chinese thought Filipinos were improvident. Improvident, improvident means not saving for the future. Maybe before, but for now, many Filipinos learn how to save for the future. An Indonesian criticized Filipinos for immediately accepting Western standards. A Simis said Filipino were pretentious. Other nations tried to save us. Spaniards believe that they were screwing us from the agent of Satan, which is not true because they made us suffer for more than 333 years. Americans proclaimed their purpose to civilize us, Christianize us, and 
liberate us from the Spaniards. Yes, they then, but also they colonized us. Japanese announced that they come to free us from the Americans. Yes, they also did, but also they colonized us and because of them, many Filipinos died, especially during the death march. They were all fighting over us because for them, the more country they colonize, the more powerful country they are yet in the end we have managed to survive in this solicitude and to learn that in the end we must save ourselves and fight for our own freedom